artist Doug Pexa here. Welcome to my studio. Oh wait, this isn't my studio, this is my guard. And today, short little video, I just want to say this is the end. Yes, this is the end of the vlog and um, the art studio tours and all that. Kind of. I'll explain. So, as an artist, I have a lot of interests. And those interests include, of course, art, making of art, teaching you how to make art, and uh, also, <laughs> this lovely garden here. Uh, food is another passion of mine. I'm not turning this into a food vlog or a food thing, but that might be a part of what's coming uh, with all the other things I'm doing. I'm uh, going to continue doing the art stuff. I'm going to be a little more focused, I think, because I think that's really important. Um, a lot of YouTube creators and content uh, specialists, as they like to call themselves, like to say you want to have a niche, and a very narrow niche. The narrower, the better. Whatever. Um, I am 49 videos in, this is the 49th, I believe, and for my 50th, it's going to change. I'm going to kind of do like season two, even though I've been doing this for quite a few uh, years now, and um, change focus. So I hope, I hope you come along for the ride. I'm probably going to do some garden updates here and there. Um, I was going to do that at the beginning of the season, but, uh, well, you know, whole COVID thing and then the riots and uh, protests here in Minneapolis kind of made that nearly impossible for me mentally to do that. Things have settled down. Things are opening up, hopefully for the better. Wear your mask when you're out in public, okay? Just saying. I don't care. Just do it save people's lives. Anyway, it is a toasty day out here. I also want to tell you that I kind of cheated on you guys. I've been doing a lot of painting and uh, creating, drawing, working in the sketchbook, and I want to show you some of that stuff, even though I didn't make full-length videos on them um, and all that good stuff. So. Hey, let's jump into the studio and just do a little quick tour and wrap this thing up. And uh, next video will be season two. I hope you enjoy. Please like, please subscribe. It does help. It's one of those things that gives some validation to what we do here on this platform. And uh, I, I really hope to continue to do this. We'll see if uh, my new experiment works. Call it season two, experiment two. All right, let's go into the studio. And we're in the studio. All right, like I said, I kind of cheated on you guys. Painting, uh, yes. Coaster paintings, as always. Here's one, this is from uh, Sunday. Here is one. Yes. As always, some mushroom paintings. A little glary, I'm sorry about that. And a painting of the backyard. Uh, this one was kind of inspired by um, a friend from Holland, the Netherlands, Netherlands, as it were. Um, Tali, she paints a lot of landscapes, and I kind of was playing around with what she usually does and how she does it. And here's my other painting from this weekend. Oops, as I keep going back so you can see the whole darn thing. 
Again, backyard, kind of playing around with landscape, which I don't do very often. I should also show you this. This is in progress. This is what I'm calling the ugly stage of a painting. Yes, a lot of paintings can have this ugly, ugly state. And this is the ugly state. But maybe I'll uh, finish this up actually with the camera on so you can see where it's going. And since this is my last of season one or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to talk about the sketchbook. This is an old sketchbook. There were a couple drawings in it, not very many. And um, I started doing some and this is only the beginning, so let's, let's, maybe it's easiest to look down on this. Let's do that. Okay. So a quick little tour of what I've been doing in the sketchbook. This is just studies of, um, a series of paintings I've been working on, um, if you are a long-term watcher, you have probably seen it. It's the Monolith series. Well, just playing around with some boats um, and stuff. What's past here is uh, stuff I did when I first got the sketchbook. Um, some drawings actually from Amsterdam. Not going to show you those though. But here. I am not a graffiti artist. However, I kind of love the meditativeness of drawing letters in kind of a graffiti style. Playing around with shapes, forms, uh, layers, and that's what this is about. It's mostly just moving the pen, not thinking too hard about what I'm doing. Um, usually lay down some pencils. You probably can't see that uh, of the lighting and it's really soft pencil. Again, another another feel for that lettering, playing around, playing with symbols. A lot of these symbols I throw into uh, the Hipster King series more about the Hipster King series because I'm excited about a couple of things I'm going to do with that. Another video. Again, another, another thing. Just came up with a word, played around, made it graffiti-esque. Sun, moon, I was going to do kill, but I never got around to it. But just playing around with, um, hey, let's let's throw some other symbols in there. I like arrows. Arrow kind of turned into devil's tail, devil horns. You know, just playing around. Things that I wouldn't maybe necessarily come up with otherwise. Just playing around. And out of that, oops. Yeah, let's go there. The other one is just a drawing uh, pencil sketch that I didn't finish yet. So, out of that, I was just doodling away. And I came up with this idea of bubbles or round areas. And it kind of turned into a tree. And without this, and I did that at the same time, same day, same sitting, outside. I don't think I would have ever come, come with this, and I really like this. This may actually turn into a painting at some point. And over to just playing around with letters again, coming up from this stuff to this stuff, thinking about logo design, symbols, symbols again, the crown, which is a big graffiti symbol. Think of uh, Basquiat, 
He was famous for putting crowns on his stuff. Um, and yes, I alluded to something with Hipster King. I'm just playing around with Hipster King as like a fake company and doing some logo design for that because, well, I like doing that stuff too. Multiple things to do. And then this was just drawing some flowers and then some seated or not seated nudes. Uh, just not using reference, just coming off the top of my head, just playing around. And I think that's it for now. So. I hope, I hope this wasn't too painful. I know it was a little unfocused, but again, season two, I think I have got big things coming. And I think all the lessons learned from season one will hopefully shine through in season two. So stick around and I hope you enjoy. And here is a dear friend of mine.